context for case uh, three is that if you already saw my second case where I, when I was uh, talking about how I'm using um, Microsoft Flow to uh, aggregate fees from different channels and put there to my Todoist, you should already know that I'm using Todoist to um, uh, organize my tasks. And uh, another thing that I wanted to do, to do in the Todoist, uh, and Todoist isn't cap capable of uh, out of the box, is to have an effect that whenever I am add a date to the task that is in any of the following projects, uh, week, month, year, or inbox, so whenever a task will have a set uh, date, uh, I want it to, to be moved to the planned project. And uh, normally, I was doing that manually. But once I started to manage more than 20 tasks per day, um, even such small thing like uh, add a date and then move a um, task to a different project was actually time consuming for me and very frustrating that this is something that should be really easily to, to uh, automize. So I've, uh, what I've done is I registered my Microsoft Flow trigger, HTTP request received, in the Todoist webhook. Webhook is a technology that allows you to register your web application. It don't have to be Microsoft Flow, it can be any application, just a URL of an application, in third-party um, uh, API, like in this case Todoist API, and this API will notify your endpoint, your web service, with any information uh, that you're listening on. So in my case, I registered Microsoft Flow, HTTP um, request received uh, to listen on on task update events. So whenever the task has been updated in Todoist, it will call my uh, endpoint, my Microsoft Flow, and um, uh, and tell him, hey, the task has been updated. Do something with it. So as I said, I have a Microsoft Flow flow which start with uh, HTTP request is received. It checks, uh, uh, it, it, it's checking um, the project of ta the task and if the date is also uh, set properly. And if so, it is sending uh, the, the task back to the uh, Todoist uh, API. And this flow is, uh, I think, very cool example of the um, flow architecture where actually I'm using Microsoft Flow to extend um, capabilities of third-party uh, solutions, third-party services, uh, with using very common, well-known standards of um, uh, of application integration, which is webhooks technology and uh, HTTP requests. So now let's jump to the uh, my Todoist, and let's add some uh, tasks, so uh, hello world, why not, and uh, add it just like that for now. As we can see, the task still uh, is still here, but once I'll set the date, like for instance tomorrow, today, it will be moved using my Microsoft Flow, yep, and if we go to now to the planned task appeared in here. And that's it. Really cool example, very simple one, but showing the great power of Microsoft Flow in extending any service that has a uh, well-known uh, interface like Webhooks and the REST API.